Welcome back to Woodwork. Today, we're going to be installing this over there. As you can kind of see, if you didn't know what this was, this is a uh, compressor hose reel. A nice retractable one that reels out about 50 feet. And uh, just makes accessing your compressor that much easier. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago from my son and I never did get a chance to put it up. So today I'm going to start that process. But first, in order to put it up, I need to find a spot for it. So I kind of picked my nut and bolt corner. Uh, just seemed like the most accessible spot through that door is where my compressor is located. It's a separate room. I think somebody made it as a uh, as a root cellar years ago, but it makes a really good room to put noisy equipment uh, like a compressor that's running and things like that. I'm also thinking about putting my dust collection system back there someday as well, but mounting this on this wall over here is probably going to make it as easy as possible to connect this airport right here to your compressor. And then, of course, it mounts on a wall, and it's really got to be a pretty sturdy wall. Because it's this thing has got to be, I don't know, 15 pounds maybe. I don't know. I'm a poor judge of weight. But um, but anyway, you need to mount it pretty solid on um, you can't just use like drywall anchors or something like that. You'd have to mount it into a stud or something of that nature. But in order for me to put that over here, I gotta move my nut and bolt storage somewhere else. So what I was thinking is I'm actually gonna take reorganize some of this section over here, move these uh, wall hanging containers over to the other side, maybe adjust the height of those a little bit, make room along this back wall for my nut and bolt storage, uh, and then it'll leave room for my hose reel on that side. So the first thing we'll do is uh, get that bench cleared off and start to reorganize some of that. So let's get after it. Kind of a great tool tip. I don't know if some of you guys already do this, but uh, take uh, one of those portable organizers, put your sandpaper in there. Good idea. A few old manuals from my shop tools. Every shop has to have a sandpaper box with all your old scraps. Still a lot of good sanding left in some of these, so I can't bring myself to throw them away. Looks pretty good now. So now what I'm going to do is take all of these guys off here clean up this wall and then make room over here maybe I'll have to adjust the height of these oh look I'm not a hoarder but it looks like a doorbell I'll bet it still works see told you I'll probably end up moving these buckets like 19 times. Let's go ahead and start taking down my nut and bolt storage stuff and getting that moved over to this side. If you've ever bought one of these, they come in handy, especially when you're trying to uh, get something out of those depths. So I bought a few of these a year ago, a few years ago. And uh, actually, I'm glad I did. Oh, I'm 
All right. So now head back over there, figure out where to mount those. Maybe do a better job than I mounted them up here, and uh, get that process started. I know the smart thing would be is to take all the drawers out and hold it up there. I'm not that smart. I don't want to go through all that work. Plus, I don't have any place to put all these drawers. So, what we'll do is we'll level line in there, make sure they're all at the right height, and then measure the center to center on them, put some holes in there, and go from there. if all my measurements were any good. This one will be the tough one. Hanging on that toggle bolt. in there and snug them all up. So what do you think? It's pretty good. I'll clean some of this up and then we'll go work on that side. A TI-30 calculator. I'll bet you it still works. How many of you guys have one of those? Comes with this really hip uh, denim carrying case. Looks like I modified it a while ago to uh, take a uh, adapter. But I'll bet it does still work. But I'm not a hoarder. So that looks pretty good. I can see in the top. And now let's just go ahead and finish the rest of them. I think what I am going to do though, maybe if I can see this red one on the bottom, which I can, I think I'll put that down there because then it um, gives me just a little more counter space. reason I put all of them in. I know it seems like overkill. The problem is is when you get a lot of stuff in these buckets, you start hanging one in the middle. 
starts to sag a little bit. So that's why I know it feels like overkill, but it really isn't. There, what do you think? Looks pretty good, right? So now that we've got this done, aside from the fact that I need to probably go through those bins, but I think for now it'll be good. At least I got my bench top organized. I could start putting clutter back on it again. Now we got this done. Let's go over and tackle the holes real. All right, I showed you this hose reel when we first started. Um, here's the inlet. There is a mounting bracket on the bottom. I guess we'll call it the bottom or the back. It's roughly about six inches by six inches. And it has four mounting points like that. A couple slots, which are nice because then you can put the uh, bolts in set it on there pivot it up and then put the other bolts in um but the problem is in the wall that i'm putting that in there aren't enough studs in there and i didn't plan for it originally so i don't you really can't use the drywall to hold this thing up i'm not going to do it that way uh, so what i'm going to do is i only have one stud in the middle Kind of in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this oak that I have. I'm going to make a larger plate, roughly eight by eight or nine by nine, and through the center of it, I will line up with the joist, and then it gives me a bigger hard surface to run these lag bolts in. Now, the only reason I picked this is because I had it. Um, but I think this oak is going to hold uh, some of the lag bolts better than probably like a poplar or a pine or something like that. So, and plus it'll look good. Um, so anyway, uh, what we'll do is let's go over there and uh, I'll show you where the stud is. Um, and then we can kind of from there we'll probably go to the table saw cut this out really quick and kind of build off of that so i'm going to need two lag bolts to lag this oak board onto the wall and then i want to do four more lag bolts for this to the oak so if i only had a bunch of nuts and bolts stored somewhere. I don't know where they would be. Oh wait, I just put a bunch of nut and bolt organizers behind me here. Let me see if I got some lag bolts in there. Oh look, here's some lag bolts. It's almost like I had these planned already. So, I know these look a little severe, but these are the ones that are gonna go through the oak like that and then into the stud that I find so that'll hold this backing plate if you will on the wall so 
So those two will be mounted one over the other on that board, kind of in that orientation. Then, once they get that mounted, then these will go into the oak board. They're only as thick as the oak because even if they went into the drywall, the drywall's not holding it. It's the oak board that's holding it. So it's kind of an easy way to... Um, I could have probably lined these two studs up with one stud and two of them not, but I just don't like it that way because it, would, it wouldn't be secure enough for me. You're going to be pulling on this hose and it's got a automatic recoil where you pull it, you know, like a you've seen it for extension cords and stuff like that. So when you're pulling on that a lot, I just want to make sure that it's secured by the four points. That it is so let's go over there see if we can find um the stud i think i've got a stud finder here somewhere we'll use the old stud finder 5000 that's really what it's called laser level stud sensor 5000 so dust this thing off haven't used it in a while Go over and find the uh, the stud that we're going to put this on and make sure it's going to lay out the way we want it to. So let's go over there and get that started. All right. So this is the surface that we're going to mount this to. Uh, like I was talking about before, this wall's pretty short. So I probably only put a stud in the corner. And I probably put a stud by the door jam. So there's probably one roughly in the middle here somewhere. So we're going to use the old Stud Finder 5000. Got a couple pieces of tape ready to go so I can mark it. All right, use the bubble. Try to level it up. And then I take my thing that's on one edge. Level that up. That there. Check it again. Okay, so somewhere in the middle is the truth. I think it varies. I don't know if you've ever noticed these things before, but and this one was kind of expensive, so I don't. It's accurate. But it seems like it can be off by an eighth of an inch, depending on each time you go. That's why you, you kind of put it on the surface and it beeps when it's calibrated. You could use it on uh, thicker pieces of wood. I'm not sponsored by Stanley, but it was a pretty good buy. And the level's kind of handy as well. So let's just check over here. Yeah, so I know there's one here. But to try to get a bolt into that corner is going to be a little tough. So what I think I'm going to do, envision this being cut down to a piece about 9 inches square. So once it's square, I'll probably mount it up fairly high, high to the ceiling. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing cut down first. Get it mounted. And it's going to look really nice too, you know. So let's go ahead and do that. Just take one of those scrap pieces of sandpaper I've got laying around, take the sharp edge off there, and we'll head back over there and see if we can locate it. All right, here's what we got. Here is our nine by nine board. I'm going to take uh, and make some pencil marks on there. You can see it's wider in both directions. 
but that's going to give us the best footprint to mount it on the wall over here. So we'll center it probably up pretty high, like so. Drive the two big lag bolts in, and then go from there. All right. So what I did is I took, and I know everybody, anybody that does any woodworking at all, you have a piece like this and you want to find the center, just take a, a quick ruler, line it up on each corner, draw a line, do the same thing this way, draw a line, and there you found the center of the square. So then what I did, I actually took it too, and I drew a line down that side, maybe, I don't need to do it on that side, on either side, because when I put a line on my uh, wall, I'll be able to look and line this point up with the wall. So, the bolt pattern for that hose reel is four inches by four and three quarter inches. So, it's four inches this way and four and three quarter this way. I don't know why they didn't make it square, but they didn't. So I've already put a couple pencil marks here. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make these dark now, and I'll probably just take and run a sander over it real quick, just to get rid of it, so it looks pretty when I'm done. So there, you can kind of make that out. I don't know if the reflection is too much. So you have four inches across there. So I want to center it this way as well. So four and three quarters. So half of that is going to be two and three eighths. I remember that from high school math. There's a mark there and a mark right there. So So now I've got my four points right here. And um, I'm going to get my drill out. We'll start piloting those. So let me go grab my drill and drill bits. bit of work there but my batteries are low so now so we got both those there and there does it look like overkill yet I think so it's not coming down all right I said I'd put those on there for each end so I can just kind of make sure I got it lined up here. I think we're going to go 10 inches to the top. And then another nine means it's going to be kind of like in this area here. Not exact. It's all you people out there that like square things. I do too. Alright. Now we got our two holes marked. I'm gonna run a few drill bits through here too because don't want to split out that stuff. I think we'll go one more. Alright. Standard it up nice. Took a little edge off the rough edge off. This doesn't hold it, I don't know what will. Probably should 
a little deeper. I don't think that's going anywhere. I know, everybody's saying a little overkill, but I don't know. I just don't have to deal with it twice. We hold it up by the bottom bolts right now. Hope it'll stay there until I get the top bolts in. Put my glove on so I don't scrape it up in the drywall. It's going to hurt a little bit. It's a really an easy thing to do, hoisting that thing up there by myself. So, I think it's pretty solid. The rattle is coming from this, I think. Let's see how it works. Halfway through my shop. Three quarters of the way through my shop, all the way at the end of my shop, and it'll even reach all the way over here. Yeah, let's see if we can roll her back up. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, so there you have it. A successful install of a hose reel a 30 pound hose reel I think earlier I said it was like 15 but it's like 30 pounds so it's pretty heavy anyway a little time has lapsed since I did all the other recording for this video but since then I've managed to get the actual air plumbed in as I mentioned before I've got a air tank I think it's a 30 25 gallon 30 gallon air tank in the back room so it's kind of nice with that door closed. I don't hear all that noise whenever it kicks in. And as you can see with a 50 foot hose on this thing, it'll reach virtually anywhere in my shop, which is kind of nice because I use uh, pneumatic nailers. I use, uh, I use this a lot to actually blow off my benches and blow off parts and things like that. So I use a lot more air in my shop than I thought I would. And uh, this baby, made by real works i don't know if they still exist i tried to look them up before um but i would recommend it i would recommend having any hose reel i don't know if how all the others in the industry fare compared to this one but i really like it i've had it installed for quite some time now and uh, i would say that i can't believe i went so long without putting it up anyway that ought to do it if you like this video i would greatly appreciate it if you would like it share it and most importantly please subscribe to this channel to kind of keep it going along uh, it really does make a big difference so i would greatly appreciate that so be watching for uh, future videos i got a few good ones coming up here pretty soon some with actual building stuff instead of putting new hardware in the shop so uh, that'll be kind of fun so uh, i do appreciate you following along so until next time we'll see you later take care